So he cannot speak, all right? He cannot speak. But he's going to tell me what he wants you all to know. So first of all, Elmer, are you happy to be here? He said he's very happy to be here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And is this your first time in Tacoma, Washington? Okay, he said he visited with Grouch a few years ago. Okay, okay, we're so glad, we're so glad to have you back. Listen, Elmo is here because he wants to minister to all of the beautiful young people. Yes. If there are young people here between the ages of one to 11, I want you to come and just have a seat right here. Come on, come on, come on. One to 11, one to 11. Come on, let's give our young people a hand. Have a seat. There you go, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Look at all these big kids in the audience. Look at the pan the audience, all these big kids. Pan the audience. Pan the congregation, the cameraman. We got my kids. There you go. Hey, Amen. All you big kids, you want to come and sit, but you can't. I'm going to stay right where you are. All right, all right. Elmo is so happy to see all of you here today, and he has a very special message for each of you today. Now, who knows what obedience is? What does it mean to be obedient? Yes, sir, man. Obedient means to do what is supposed to be done. Right, come on, let's give him a hand. Come on, it's supposed to be done. All right, and does your mother and father, do they like you to be obedient? How about your teachers? Yes. How about Jesus? Yes. Yes. Your parents, your teachers, and Jesus wants you to be. What was that? Oh, okay, okay. All right. He told me to read the scripture to you. Read the scripture. Now, he is taking me to Ephesians. So you got that? Okay, all right. Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6, verses 1 through 3. All right, he wants me to read this to you all so that you can always remember. Today, our word is obedience. Say obedience. Obedience. Come on, say it again. Obedience. Obedience. Right, that is the word for today. All right, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 through 3, it reads, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. So children, repeat after me. Say, obey, obey. your parents, your parents. In, the in the Lord. For this is right. This is right. So this right. means when your mother tells you it's time to go to bed, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. This means that when your mother tells you or your father tells you to eat all of your vegetables, what are you supposed to do? Eat all you don't sound convinced. You don't sound convinced. You don't sound convinced. <laughs> Eat all your vegetables. This means even, now listen, because even when you go to school, listen, and when you obey your teachers, you're still obeying your parents because your parents want you to obey your teachers, right? Yes? So when your teacher tells you it's time to stop talking, what are you supposed to do? Stop talking. When your teacher says it's time to come inside from recess, what are you supposed to do? All right, okay, so that's verse one. So verse one, let's say it together. Repeat after me. Children, Children obey, obey your, parents your parents in the Lord, for well, this is right. Okay. Now, verse two says, honor. What does it mean to honor? Honor means to help others. That's right, come on, that's right, beautiful. Come on, what else, what else does it mean to honor? What else does honor mean? Anybody else want to try it? Yes. Um, honor is when you post to honor the Lord when you post to and it's. Sorry. All right, that's good. Come on, let's give it to you. Let's give it to you. That's right. Yes. Okay, so let's let's add this word. Somebody say, be respectful. Be respectful. That's what it means to honor. It means to respect. Okay. And so when the Bible says to honor thy father and thy mother, it means to be respectful to your father and to your mother. Now, what does it mean to be disrespectful? What, what does it mean to be disrespectful? Yes. Like if you talk back. Talk back. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. What else? 
you're not being kind to the teachers, that's right. So we got talking back, not being kind. That's none of you all up here, though. I know that's none of you. Talking back, not being kind to the teacher. Yes, dear? No being mean. No being mean, that's right. All right, that's right. That's what disrespect means. Not to be respectful. All right, one more, Josiah, and we're going to move on. Not to talk back to your parents. That's right. So that means that no back talk. That means you don't slam the doors. You don't stomp off. You don't breathe hard. You don't roll your eyes. I'm pretty good. No, I'm not saying that anymore. All right. Amen. That you honor your mother and your father. And this means that even when their birthday, if you can't afford to buy something, get a piece of paper and make them a nice little card. For Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, that's what it means to honor. So it says, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. And this is verse 3. This is the last verse. That it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. Now, how many of you want to live a long life? Let me see you break you want to live a long life. How many of you want to live a long, happy life with a good family someday and a house and a car and good food and all the candy in the world? How many of you want to live a good, happy life? Right? A good, happy life, right? Well, if you want to set yourself up for a good future, listen to me, listen, listen to me. If you want to set yourself up for a good future, for a happy life, as happy as it can be, it first starts with obeying your mother and your father. Okay? For this is right. All right. Now, Elmo is here. Elmo. Okay, Elmo said that he wants to give everyone a big hug. All right? So come on, come on. Let's give Elmo a hug. Let's give Elmo a hug. Come on, let's give Elmo a hand. Thank <laughs> you. 